Hi guys, it's LadBanzara here and today I'm going to be reviewing Hard Hat, which is the latest map from the update on May the 18th of Call of Duty Modern Warfare. So, hope you enjoy the video. I don't know how you reacted when the news came that Hard Hat would be returning to Call of Duty, but I was quite happy. When I used to play it on Modern Warfare 3, the map was great, there'd be a lot of little spots that you you could just hip out, get a few shots in, get a few kills, and I'd like to tell you that after playing a few games on Call of Duty, on Hard Hat, the map is still as good as it was. If not, I think they've actually just revamped the imagery and it's a lot, lot better. So through this video and for the gameplay that you can see behind me, I am going to review the best bits about this map and some tips and tricks that hopefully help you improve your game. So the first review on this is the pipe. Now everyone knows what I'm talking about, it's a pipe in the middle of the map that people camp under. Well, after my first five or six games, I can tell you that that is definitely still there. So, if I were you, my first stop tip would be avoid the pipe. I went in it on my first game, had a look, see around, and I turned around and there was 14 members there and they absolutely slapped me. Like, I mean, my guy fell over like he'd just been hit by a truck. It was disgusting. So, I normally advise people not to go for revenge, but knowing me, I was so mad, I went back and all four were still there. So if I were you, I would avoid the pipe and keep to the outskirts of the map and get as high up as you can, because as people know, this map dips a lot. There are a lot of high vantage points and there are a lot of low vantage points, but if I were you, I'd stick to the high points. Now, my other tip would be is the game mode. I have played Crank and Team Deathmatch so far, and those two are very, very good and very suited to this map. However, I wanted to play Cyber Attack on this map, but after reading some reviews online and I've come to the conclusion myself after playing just one game that cyber attack is very hard on this map because it's a pro and a con, it depends which side you're virtue on, but if you're more of a camper, unfortunately, then cyber attack and this map is definitely for you because there are a lot of hiding spots, like I mentioned the pipe, there's a lot of uh, upstairs and downstairs action like I mentioned earlier, and specifically you can mount on walls very easily, there are loads of pillars as you can see in the video now, there's loads of round spots, so as soon as you pop around there could be a person there, there's a lot of, obviously because it's a building structure, there's a lot of unfinished walls so you can just camp behind there and mount, so that is very easy in itself. Um, another good feature about this map is I think it's a very, very good map for multi kills. So, if you don't into this map thinking you'll get a lot of long shot kills, then I would advise you stay away from this map because I've, like I said, I've played seven or eight games now and I don't think I've ever got a long shot kill. However, I have got a lot of multi kills and triple kills because parties tend to stick together on this map. I've been playing Krant I think for the past three games and every single time I start on one side and I go towards the left of the map and a team of three are there so I've managed to get two or three kills pretty easily as you can see from the video from the back and I'm using an SMG. Another tip is depending on the gun so if you'd like your RPG where you just like blowing people up then this is definitely a very very good map for you or if you'd like an SMG which is just not too far distance but damaging enough for you to get multi kills like the AUG like I'm using in this map then definitely please please don't and try this map. Another thing that I do like about this map as well is that there are a lot of different ways that you can kill people on this map so like I said long shots aren't on this map I would not go and do this map for long shots it's not viable I would go and use an SMG and just walk around and shimmy but if you are a camper like I mentioned earlier I feel sorry for you guys but if you are a camper then there are a lot of places that you can just sit behind a wall and just sit there and it's very hard to detect you especially if you have ghosts on but one of the things that kind of frustrates me about this game is that if you use a UAV and you see that person is right next to you on the map then you will walk down thinking oh they're right there however because there are so many different levels they could be up and I know it's indicated by the low mini map but it's still a bit distracting if you're quickly having a look at the map does it you could be up, you could be down, and if you go down a hill, and if you're in the middle of that hill, it doesn't show up or down, so you think that they're level, but really they could be up or they could be down. So that's a bit of a feature that I'm not too happy about. Now, as you can see for the video, I started off all right, and then I got to the swing of things right towards the end. I got VTOL, 
a UAV and I think I was one off the chopper gunner which is slightly annoying but yeah as you can see there are many of these little tunnels here that my guys just ran through now they can be a pro or a con this tunnel in particular which is on the far left side of the map I would definitely definitely use more than the one that's sunken low and which the team members do go in I think the problem, another problem with this map is the fact that it's not very spacious, so like I said it's quite compact, I wouldn't say it's necessarily small, well it's not as small as Rust or Shipment, but I'd say it's possibly the same size as Hackney Yard, um, if you disagree with me then please like I said leave a comment in the box below, but I think the map size probably does need... I don't know if they can improve it, but I would definitely probably expand it out a bit because I think in some bits you are literally like you're in a tune can. It's like you are just circling around and they're there to touch you. I mean, social distancing, pff, this would not be good for. Um, and other than that, I would probably say my last tip for this is definitely go into this and rush. Now, if you like a rusher like me, I don't like sitting at the back. I like just going for it and go guns blazing. As you can see from the video, I go in and get about 20, 25 kills. I think in my last eight games, I've averaged about 26 kills and around 10 deaths. So I've got a positive KD and it's very good. But if you're going in there and you're thinking, oh, I'm going to camp in the back of a shotgun, it's effective. But if you get rushed, which every game I have, I've been rushed. Um, you know, until you go to that pipe. Other than that pipe, they don't really camp. So if I were you, I would go into this map, not guns blazing, but go free run around the map. I would not stick to one space. And that's about it about my opinion about hard hat. Um, so all in all, I think that it was a great decision by Modern Warfare to bring this in. And I think if you like me, who likes to rush, who likes to attack the opposition team very quickly, then this is definitely the map for you. So I suggest you go on hard hat 24 seven as soon as you go online and try this map out. Thank you. And that is it, thank you so much for watching guys, and if you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, then be sure to hit that subscribe button just before you leave.